In this video, we're going to take you through the Trust Wallet. And we're going to take you through a full beginner's guide showing you how to create a wallet, send, receive, swap, buy, withdraw, and earn crypto with trust. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below for those of you who just want to jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information on Trust Wallet, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is a multi-chain cryptocurrency mobile wallet that was created in 2017, originally built to support tokens in the Ethereum ecosystem. However, since its acquisition by Binance, the wallet now allows you to store and manage millions of crypto assets, including NFTs, across 65 blockchains. Trust Wallet in 2022 now has over 25 million users, and with the wallet, you'll have access to your private keys, which are stored locally on your device and therefore you've got complete control over your funds. The wallet is beginner friendly and it's got a host of easy to use features, such as quick and easy buying with credit and debit cards for those that are just getting started and possibly buying their first crypto. Now, one thing to mention is that within the trust wallet, you can't sell a coin to effectively cash out and then withdraw that back to your bank account or a card. This will need to be performed on an exchange such as Binance but you can hold more than 4.5 million digital assets from over 65 different blockchains. You can swap or exchange your crypto from within the wallet, stake and earn interest on your crypto, plus you can also safely store all of your collectibles and NFTs within the Trust Wallet and track crypto prices, as well as connect your wallet and interact with dApps or decentralized applications. Currently, the Trust Wallet is only officially available on mobile, and it's downloadable for Android and Apple devices. So please don't be fooled by any browser extension claiming to be Trust Wallet. Also, please also be wary of people in the comments of a YouTube video claiming to be Trust Wallet support. So let's jump in and take a look. The first thing you're going to need to do is download and install the app. Then once you've opened it, you're going to have the option to create a new wallet. Or if you already have a wallet, you can restore it. If, for example, you have a new phone, and I'm going to show you where you can also do this again later. For now, I'm going to go ahead and create a new wallet. Where you're going to be prompted to read and accept the terms of service and privacy policy. When you continue, you'll then be prompted to set a passcode. Then you're going to be asked to back up your wallet. And this is going to be 12 words that help you to recover a wallet. So you're going to need to go through and tick some boxes here to state that you understand some important information, such as the fact that if you lose your phrase, you can't recover it. Trust don't hold any information with regards to your wallet, so there's no way to reset your account and therefore your funds will be lost forever. Also, if you expose or share your secret phrase, anyone will have access and therefore control of your funds. Plus, it's important to understand that support will never ask for this information. Anyone requesting this is trying to scam you and trying to steal your funds. And you're then going to be showing your secret phase. Now, obviously, I'm only showing you this for the purposes of this tutorial, and this isn't a wallet that I'm going to be storing funds in. Once you've written those down in the right order, you can then keep them offline somewhere really safe. You'll then need to verify the secret 12 word phrase by placing them in the correct order. Once that's complete, you enter the main screen of the app, which is the wallet tab. Now, the first thing that we'd recommend doing before you start putting any assets into your wallet is to secure it with an extra level of security. So if we head across to settings in the bottom right of our screen and choose security, you're then going to be prompted to enter in your passcode. And you can also set up face ID from here too. As well as the fact that you can set up an auto lock, set your lock method, and you can ask for transaction signing. Now, if we just head back to the wallet tab by choosing the icon at the bottom of your screen on the far left. At the top of your wallet screen, you'll see any notifications by pressing on the bell icon in the top left. You'll then see your balance if you've got one in the center. And this is currently in dollars. You can also change this to your chosen currency from the settings, which we're going to come back to later. When you create a new wallet, Automatically, you're going to have Bitcoin, Ethereum and BNB tokens listed under tokens. And these numbers currently show the current price under the token name. 
it shows the 24 hour change and any balance that you hold of that asset in that crypto. If you want to add more assets to this list, you can press the icon in the top right of the screen or the icon at the bottom of the list to add tokens. From here, there's a whole host of assets that you can choose from, or you can also search for a crypto too. When we press onto a specific token, and in this example, I'm going to choose Bitcoin, you see the price in the top right and the 24 hour change again. Above that, you have the option to view chart information for that specific crypto too. I'm going to head across to another live wallet now that I'm currently using so that I can show you a live example. And some of these numbers or balances will be hidden with stars. You can see that I've now got quit links to send, receive and swap. Let's start with send. So if you want to send this particular crypto externally, possibly across to an exchange or another wallet, you can simply copy the recipient's address, which will be either their deposit or receive address. I'll show you an example of this quickly now with Binance. So as I said, Binance did acquire Trust Wallet some time ago, and therefore they work pretty well together, supporting the same type of tokens, etc. If you don't already have a Binance account, I'll put my link in the summary. With Binance, to find your deposit address, you search for the crypto from within your fiat and spot wallet, which will be BNB in this example. Then choose deposit. You'll then need to select the network, which is the BNB smart chain, and copy the address by clicking on the copy icon. Alternatively, you can also scan with a QR code, which is the button to the right. And using this method will help to eliminate entering in an incorrect address. If we just head back to Trust now, you can paste in the address into the recipients field. Enter the amount you'd like to send, or you can choose Max to send all of your funds, and then choose Next. Now just be aware here that with anything on a blockchain or crypto related, there will be network or transaction fees, and these are to be paid in BNB. So if you find that your transaction is failing, it could be because you don't have enough BNB to pay for the transaction fees, which you're going to need to send across to Trust Wallet, or you can also buy these within the app, which is what we're going to look at next. So how do we receive or send crypto to our Trust Wallet? Well, if we head back to our wallet coin screen and choose to receive from the top of the screen beside send, this will display your wallet address for this specific type of crypto and your QR code. Just remember that you're going to have different addresses for different blockchains. So make sure that you are sharing the correct type of address from here. Otherwise, you will risk losing your crypto. So here you can copy your wallet address by choosing the blue copy icon. Then we'll head back over to Binance. Search for the crypto which we're going to be sending across to Trust. And this time we're going to choose Withdraw. Where I'll then be prompted to enter in the recipient's address which I'll paste in now. And this is my receive address that I obviously just copied across from my trust wallet. And it should then automatically choose the network for the address that you've just copied, or you can select that from the drop down list. You'll then need to enter the amount that you want to send, and you'll need to pay a transaction fee for this transaction to send and then choose to withdraw. Now, if you don't already have some BNB to send, or if you're brand new to crypto, you can also buy it directly from within Trust with the likes of a credit or a debit card. You'll find the buy button in a few different locations. But from the wallet coin screen again, you can choose buy in the top right hand side of your screen. There's a minimum of $50 purchases. So once you enter an amount above this and choose next, a list of third party providers integrated into the app will display that you can select from. And they'll also show you how much you're going to get for your money and where you're going to be getting the best rates. If you choose to continue with one of these, you'll then be redirected to the providers page and you're going to need to follow the on screen instructions from that specific provider. Now, although this is a convenient way to buy your crypto, it won't be the cheapest way. And therefore, it's not a way that we'd personally recommend buying crypto or that we would personally use as you're going to be paying a premium. Now, if you're looking to sell and withdraw from Trust Wallet to your bank account or a credit card, so effectively cashing out, this isn't possible. Instead, you'll need to send your tokens to an exchange that support fiat markets, such as Binance, as I showed you earlier, and then you'll need to exchange that for fiat and withdraw that back to a bank account. Please don't fall for any scammers saying that you can withdraw cash from the Trust Wallet. 
or asking you to send them money so that they can help you because it's simply not possible. Although Trust Wallet does have some additional features and integrated third parties, it is a wallet as opposed to an exchange where you can exchange your crypto for the likes of traditional currencies. And another inbuilt feature is the ability to swap, where you can swap any two tokens on the same chain. You just select the token that you currently have an active balance with and choose the token that you'd like to swap to or you'd like to receive. Then enter in how many tokens that you'd like to swap or you can use the percentage of your balance. And there'll be an automatic conversion rate that will give you an idea of how much you're going to get and you can then tap on to swap. From the swap screen, it'll let you know who the provider is that's offering the swap, what the max slippage is, and then the network fee. Again, to swap your tokens, you will need to have some tokens on the right network, which in this case is BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, whilst we're on the topic of swapping, you can also swap your BNB tokens from one chain to another by choosing to swap. So if, for example, you've got some BNB on the Binance chain rather than the Binance Smart Chain and you want to move these across, you can choose to swap to Binance Chain or vice versa. And these tokens will then move across from one chain to the other. And this is particularly handy if you want to interact with dApps, but you've only got BNB available on the Binance chain. Or in the previous example, where you want to exchange your tokens on the Binance Smart Chain, but you don't have enough of those type of tokens to cover the fees. Now heading back to our wallet, we've been looking at the Tokens tab at the top of the screen, but there's also a tab for storing your NFTs too. To store your NFTs or collectibles within the Trust Wallet, tap onto the Receive button from the middle of the screen. And you'll then need to select the chain or the network that your NFT is currently on. I'm going to choose Ethereum in this example. But with Trust, you can also store NFTs on the Solana blockchain, Polygon networks, etc. And you'll then be shown a QR code and the associated address to send your NFTs across to. Again, you'll need to ensure that you've selected the correct network here Otherwise, you will risk losing your NFT. Then at the bottom of the screen, at the moment we're on the Wallet tab, but let's head across to Discover. With Discover, you can earn interest on many different cryptocurrencies by staking these tokens within the app. If we choose See All, it'll then show a list of all the different assets that you can stake with their variable interest rates with popular cryptos such as the likes of Polkadot, Carva, Cosmos, BNB or Tezos. If I select BNB, I'm currently staking this asset and here is where it would show the amount that I've currently got available and how many I've already staked. When I press on the blue stake button, it shows me details of what I'm staking, the APR, lock time, and it also shows who I'm staking with in terms of validators. I can add more to this by choosing to stake. And from here, you can choose the amount that you'd like to stake. Then choose the validator that you'd like to delegate your stake to. And you can view a list of all the validators and their current rates, which will change over time. And it's worth doing some research into who these validators are before you go ahead and stake with them. Also, when you're staking, you can't remove them from the wallet or exchange them, as they're going to be locked up for the period of time that's shown on your screen, which for me is seven days, but this may vary. Next, if we take a look at unstaking, to unstake, enter in your amount or choose max, and the reward zoning will stop immediately when you unstake. Once the unstaking is confirmed, your funds will then be available within seven days. You can also redelegate and choose another validator from the list too. Also, under the Discover tab, they've got lists of DeFi tokens and lending and borrowing tokens. Plus, you've also got some quick links to DeFi protocols such as Curve. Uniswap and Aave. If we choose the browser tab now, this is just an inbuilt browser. However, if you're an Android user, you can use a feature of Trust, which was their inbuilt DAP browser, where you can safely interact with DAPs from right within your wallet. With the DAP browser, you can connect to centralized applications such as PancakeSwap or Uniswap without ever having to leave your Trust wallet, and it will automatically connect your wallet seamlessly. However, if you are an Apple user as I am, Unfortunately, this has been removed to comply with the Apple App Store guidelines. But for us iPhone users, there is a workaround that we can use to connect our Trust Wallet to dApps such as Uniswap or PancakeSwap, 
which I'm just going to show you now. If we head across to the settings tab at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's an option for Wallet Connect. And what Wallet Connect does is it allows all Trust Wallet users to interact with any dApp without having to compromise recovery keys or private keys, as you're going to be notified to approve all transaction requests directly within your mobile device. I'm going to show you a quick example of this now with PancakeSwap. So over on my desktop, if I head across to the platform, choose to connect wallet, then I'm going to choose Wallet Connect. Now heading back to my Trust Wallet, and if I choose Wallet Connect and New Connection, I can then scan the QR code that's shown on my screen and choose to connect to allow PancakeSwap to connect with our wallet. And your wallet will then automatically be connected directly to the site. And this would work in the same way for any site or protocol or platform that uses Wallet Connect, such as Uniswap, which will work in the exact same way. Now also under settings within your Trust Wallet is where you can create multi wallets and you can manage these from here too. If we press onto the plus icon in the top right, here you can create a new wallet or you can choose I already have one. Then you can select the type of wallet that you want to import, whether or not that be a multi-coin wallet like Trust or the likes of an Ethereum-based or BNB-based wallet. You'll then be prompted to import this wallet using a 12 or 24 word recovery phrase. And when you've imported your wallet, you can then manage several wallets all from within one app. Also under your settings is where you have your security, your preferences with fiat currency options, you can get price alerts, plus you can also use Wallet Connect as we just did. And finally, you've got their community links for the likes of Twitter, Telegram and Reddit, etc. But that completes my beginner's guide to Trust Wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.